All right, well, new at five, a 15 year old is safe tonight, and the woman who police say abducted him is now facing kidnapping charges. Police say a worker at Porter Leaf Children's Center released the child to someone who wasn't his mother, and that led to an all out search. WRG's April Thompson has more on how this happened and what comes next. 15 year old Terrell Moment back safe with his mother after something went wrong at the Porter Leaf Center on Manassas back on June 11th. Police say the 15 year old was at Porter Leaf when this woman, Shanarka Jackson, showed up to check him out, reportedly telling a Porter Leaf worker she was the 15 year old's mother. Jackson isn't his mom, but the girlfriend of the teen's non custodial father. When Terrell's biological mother went to Porter Leaf to pick him up and found him gone, she filed a police report. Last week, police put out this missing persons flyer, and Monday they confirmed the teen had finally been found. Police only saying the juvenile was located with a family member, and Shanarka Jackson has been arrested. We went to the teen's home in Raleigh to speak with his mother, who filed the police report. Okay, she had contacted police about her son being missing. She didn't come to the door, but a young boy who said he was Terrell was at the house. Meanwhile, Shanarka Jackson was in court Tuesday and her case reset. Court documents say she was released on her own recognizance. How you doing? We're looking for Shanarka Jackson. But at the home she listed as her address, people there said they didn't know her. Still questions about why she went to Porter Leaf to pick up Terrell in the first place. Porter Leaf sent us a statement saying our priority has been the safe return of the child, and we're relieved to hear from MPD that he has been found safe. The thing Porter Leaf hasn't answered is how this happened, and if anything is changing to make sure it doesn't happen again. A 15 year old safe tonight, and the woman who allegedly took him charged. For your news leader in Memphis, April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. And Jackson will be back in court July 16th.